So what's up everyone? Welcome to Drawing Every Current Capital City. In this video, the next capital city I'm about to draw is going to be St. John's, Newfoundland, and Labrador. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to work. St. John's is also the most populated city in the Canadian province of Newfoundland and Labrador. The city is located on the eastern tip of Avalon Peninsula on the island of Newfoundland. In fact, it is believed to be the oldest Canadian city and it's one of the easternmost cities in North America. The area started off as a fishing ground during and towards the end of the 15th century. It is believed that the city got its name from an explorer named John Cabot. Moving to the 16th century. The earliest record of the area appears on a Portuguese map. There was some guy named John Rutt that visited the area and saw some ships there in the harbor. Rutt wrote a letter to Henry VIII to let him know that he was able to reach North America. The area got claimed by Sir Humphrey Gilbert as England's first overseas colony, and he found a bunch of ships and vessels there. The settlement was getting developed on the north side of the harbor. Unfortunately though, there was no English settler population that was permanent. Gilbert disappeared in the Atlantic Ocean when he was trying to come back to Europe. Moving to the 17th century, most of Newfoundland's east coast got controlled by England's west country. St. John's was slowly being developed and later became the province's largest settlement when censuses were being taken. The town had to go through some Dutch attacks, a few Dutch attacks, actually, and was one of the Avalon Peninsula areas to get decimated by the French in 1696 and, I believe, 97 as well. Moving to the 18th century, the French came back for more in the year 1705. This led to the Siege of St. John's, which the siege didn't really go as planned for the French. They were able to capture the town a few years later though, however, the ultimate battle took place and this ultimate battle of Seven Years War took place in the year 1762 in that town. The French got a hold of it, they got a hold of this town, but somehow the British was lucky enough to take their town back. Moving to the 19th century, St. John's served as a naval base during the two wars the American Revolutionary War and the War of 1812. And the city had to go through numerous fires. The worst one was in the year 1892. And it's also the most iconic one. Moving to the 20th century, there was this Italian inventor that got the first transatlantic radio signal in St. John's from his station that was all the way in Cornwall, England. So this capital city went through some ups and downs ever since uh, in its early history. I can deeply respect that. St. John's motto is Advanci, which is in French, but if you translate to English, it means go forward. The city is home to Signal Hill, Memorial University of Newfoundland, Mile One Center, Water Street, Cabot Tower, Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist, and the Confederation Building.
St. John's is the birthplace of a few of these famous people, such as actors Sarah Power, Mark O'Brien, Anna Marie DeLuise, and Mary Walsh. St. John's got some really nice row buildings and that are nice and colorful. I love how colorful the buildings are in this city. I should have colored the drawing. I, I leave most of my drawings black and white because I want to give... I want to give most of my drawings that classic black and white feel. You know how most old pictures are? Black and white, uh, that vintage filter, stuff like that. It's one of the reasons why I don't really give most of my drawings a color or multiple colors. I feel like the drawing would look cooler in color, but I left it black and white. And my left hand was feeling sore when I was doing the drawing for a pretty long time. Here's the finished capital city drawing of St. John, the most challenging Canadian capital city that I had to work on on camera. It took nearly three hours, three hours of doing this piece of work. I do love how hilly this capital city is. I don't know if you can really see this. This is supposed to be some type of, some body of water. A lot of buildings that I had to work on. I really struggled with some small buildings, a few buildings their perspective is kind of off but overall this drawing is one of those winners there's some trees you can tell this capital city's skyline is pretty small but it's very hilly Pretty satisfied how this drawing turned out. St. John's, everyone. So that is going to be the end of this video. Stay tuned for more content, and I hope this video is quite enjoyable to watch. Also, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. Feel free to subscribe to this channel. Feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I love to connect with you people. And also, feel free to follow my Facebook page. So. I will catch each and every one of you guys later.